So it seems like chimpanzees and other non-human primates in general seem to really struggle to learn the full complexity of human language or even human-like language structures. And you know why, right? Um, well, it doesn't seem to be due to just a strict lack of intelligence because chimpanzees are highly intelligent, bonobos especially highly intelligent. Um, so one answer is that, okay, well, here's the problem. Language is the result, it's an expression of a domain-specific mental faculty, right? That's something specific to language. It's a mental chunk, right, that humans have and other non-human primates do not, right? So this is going to be the linguistic nativist or the generativist position saying a language-specific, a domain-specific chunk that we have and they don't, right? And another answer uh, coming from the non-linguistic nativist, the constructionist says, well, okay, no, what's going on is that language and human results from just having better domain general abilities, that you're just a better learner overall compared to chimpanzees, and that's why they just reach a certain level and stop. And there's an article from 2017 that suggests that humans have basically evolved a superior capacity to deal with sequential information, the order of things, right, which is very important for language. Um, and so superior capacity means we're better at it. It's not that you know, other animals don't have it, we're just better at it. And this is actually data from 108 experiments on birds and mammals, and they found that you know, those other animals have limited capacities, right, uh, that are explained by a simpler kind of memory that does not faithfully represent sequential information. So this is an interesting thing. So you have the ability to represent information good, but not very well. The order of things kind of gets lost for you, right? So that would be the thing that distinguishes humans from all of the other animals is our ability, our superior capacity to faithfully represent the order of things, the sequential information. And in this, in this article, they say this can explain by why no animal so far has successfully mastered sequential aspects of ladies. So again, uh, so language rather. So this is, for example, the dog bit the lady versus the lady bit the dog. The sequence, the order matters. And these other animals have trouble representing the order of those elements faithfully. Now, interestingly, a 2020 article found that um, macaques can be trained to learn recursive structures, which involve nesting little chunks inside of other chunks. So we have this AA chunk. The recursive chunk is the BB that's sitting inside of it, right? And we can see this mirrored in types of, of English, for example, in other languages, but the monkeys are happier, the AA part, that's the sentence, and inside of it, nested inside, is the BB part that's kind of modifying the monkeys. So the monkeys, which ones? The ones that are sitting together. So the monkeys sitting together are happy. So this kind of recursive-like property, which we'll talk more about later, um, is something that is very important to language. And of course, met the sequence very much matters. You need to care that it's A, B, B, A. And their data suggests that with sufficient training, monkeys can learn to represent this kind of recursive process, this kind of structure. Meaning that, again, it's about a superior capacity that humans have rather than humans having a capacity and other non-human primates having no capacity. At least that's the suggestion. And, just to follow it up again, in 2020 study, both common marmosets, these guys, and chimpanzees can detect non-adjacent dependencies. So the fact that the A's, right, are separated but still related. So the monkeys sitting together are happy. The monkeys are happy as a related unit. And it turns out that common marmosets and chimpanzees can detect this, right? So that this crucial element of being able to detect things across time, right, already existed in our most recent common answers, again, suggesting that what's going on with humans is a superior capacity for dealing with this kind of information rather than humans having this capacity and other non-human primates not.